hidden CMD commands, hackers hope you never learn. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. The Shadow Task command can help you detect suspicious or unauthorized tasks that hackers may have created for persistence or malicious purposes. Type Shadow Task. This is a command prompt utility used for managing shadow tasks in Windows. However, malicious users may use it to shadow tasks for things like persistence or remote access. The query flag is used to list the shadow task on your system. It will show all tasks that have been created in the task scheduler. FO list flag specifies the output format. In this case, it lists the task in a readable list format. V flag provides a verbose output. It includes additional details about each task, such as the task status, last runtime, next runtime, and more. It is essential for identifying tasks that may seem out of the ordinary. When executed, the command will output a list of tasks on your system with its details. Task name is the name of a scheduled task. Malicious tasks may have misleading names that try to blend in with system tasks. Next runtime is the next time the task is set to execute. A hacker may schedule a task to run at all hours, such as during system downtime or when you are not actively using the system. Status shows whether the task is ready, which is scheduled to run, or disabled, which is not active. Malicious tasks may show as ready, or sometimes they might be disabled to hide their presence. Last runtime is when the task was last executed. If it ran recently and you don't recognize the task, it could be suspicious, especially the ones located in suspicious directories. Last result is the field that shows the exit code of the last time the task ran. A result of zero generally means success, while non-zero values might indicate an error. Author typically shows the user or system account under which the task is scheduled. If it's not a known system account, this could be a sign of something suspicious. Run as user indicates which user the task runs as. If it's running under system or another high-level account without a valid reason, this could be a sign of a backdoor or persistence mechanism. Logon mode shows how the task is triggered, whether it needs user interaction or not. If it is set to run in the background without user input, it could be a malicious task operating without your knowledge. Task to run shows the path of the executable that the task runs. If it's an unexpected or unknown program, this is a red flag. Start in is the directory from which the task runs. If the directory is unusual or unexpected, it could be a sign of something fishy. Comment is the description of the task. Legitimate tasks typically have clear descriptions. Suspicious or malicious tasks that lack details should be investigated. To investigate further, Look at the file path of the executable in the task to run field. Copy its path and navigate to the location of the file. Open File Explorer and paste the path in the address bar to locate it. Check the directory for any files that seems suspicious. If you find the suspicious executable file, right click it and select show more options. Scan it with antivirus or any malware detection software. I recommend using malware bytes. Click the link in the video description below to get access to the recent discount offers. Malware bytes will thoroughly analyze the executable file to detect known malware signatures and suspicious behaviors. It checks if the file attempts to modify system settings, access sensitive data, or execute unauthorized processes. If a threat is detected, malware bytes will isolate the file in a quarantine area to prevent it from harming your system further and will recommend deleting the file permanently. After the scan, malware bytes provides a detailed report listing any detected threats, their locations, and the actions taken.